So I've just pulled up to um, the new location of where I've relocated the ramp. Now, if I'd have men I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, but I'm moving out of my house. So I had to take everything down from my garden and relocate the ramp somewhere else. Now, my friend's place, they've got a bit more space. So we decided to just grow it, go bigger. I mean, why not? Like there's the space there and now it's like, it's insane. Like it's basically three meters, like the platform of where you're dropping in is now three meters tall, um, which is crazy compared to the ramp that I had in my garden, which was 1.5 meters. So it's, it's double the height of where you're dropping in from. And then the transition is way more mellow. It's all built off the ground. The rails are actually on a slope now, which makes a huge difference to the types of tricks you can do. I mean, you could actually do a line because you could land off the rail and then into something else with plenty of speed. So it's just all in all, it's a lot better. And I just can't believe that from like back in summer, 20, to summer 2020, I basically just used three pallets, a piece of scrap plywood, and then AstroTurf. And yes, that worked really well, but to do like legit tricks, it was good to kind of keep the legs going, but, and it was fun, don't get me wrong, it was really fun, and I really enjoyed riding on the AstroTurf, and if that's all you have, then do it, because it's, a, it's definitely the cheapest way of being able to get creative and, and doing something in your back garden. But now adding the pro slope mats which you'll have seen in my previous videos where i had about well originally I had 10 mats and then it went to 20 mats which was all back in my garden built it way bigger and better and now we're at 40 mats so it's it's on a whole nother level now the droppings all built out of scaffolding i made the platform where the kickers to the rails and the rails sit on out of timber um, which actually used up quite a lot of timber and we just decided that it was probably safer to go with the scaffolding drop in um, and it was just way easier and it goes up quicker so the guys at marine scaffolding who kindly came along and put basically gave me the materials like i can't even thank them enough and they built me this amazing drop-in so i just want to say a huge thank you to you guys at marine scaffolding i'm, I'm well excited for this oh my gosh it's massive <laughs> wow gosh you only just got it in the van <laughs> it's like yeah, you're yeah, we're to take the orchid out yeah we're taking that out to get it in so Good job you didn't go five meters. <laughs> five meters wouldn't have ever gone, <laughs> would it? <laughs> that is crazy. Wow. That is epic. So cool. It's looking so good, guys. Yeah, man. Gone from that rail over there <laughs> to, to this beast. It's like proper legit as well. It's like full size, proper four meter down rail. It's gonna be wicked. That'd be nice. You'll be like, can I have one for the top? You learn it with that. Yeah. <laughs> so sick. There we go. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Come on, please fit, please fit. Yes, <laughs> it fits. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. That's just the um, the board. Yeah. Yeah, can, once it's screwed in. We can pin that, we can pin that down. Yeah, so if we, what we'll do is if we can shift it, so it's on that centre line, so like in the middle yeah. there, so oh, the yeah, centre's like I there. Help it. There we go. Way go? better. Do you want to go up a bit, yeah? Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. <laughs> Look yeah, how good this down. looks. Test yeah, test straight through, yeah. Okay, I know, yeah. I think you're fine, I'll get it with That is wicked. Right, 
finally after, well, after two weeks of building, I finally finished the bloody thing. Like, it's insane. I actually put in the, the last, the last pro slope mat down on this little, um, this corner here, which is the run into the quarter pipe. I've got two lines and there's so many options. Like I, I can't, this is just like the first kind of video um, that I'm going to be filming next week of this setup as it is now. But with these mats, you can just literally change it around how you want, build different jumps, different height jumps. Like now I've got the space, this is like insane. And the amount of videos that are probably going to come from this place in the summer is going to be ridiculous. And I'm just really excited to get stuck in because like going from like, I know I said at the beginning of the video, like free pallets at the start of last um, summer during the last lockdown and just with some AstroTurf and then to finally get into this stage now where, I mean, how are you, were you scaffolding? Like, that's crazy. Like, is a scaffolding, like, I'm just going to show you now, actually, because it is mental. Like, look at that. It's three meters tall. It's crazy. And then this is all out of timber, this bit here. But it's taken us it's taken a couple of weeks to get this built and I've not been able to work on it every day. So I've just been having to do it like when I've got time. I've just got to put this last pro slope mat down and then we'll do a little um walk around, little um setup tour and the different options that you could probably take on this setup. It's gonna be a mental summer and I'm looking forward to filming and getting stuck in and, and just inviting a few people down and having a session, you know, like barbecues and it's gonna be wicked. It's gonna be so fun. I'm, I'm really excited. So it's gonna be a good summer, especially good prep for going into next winter for sure. And um, yeah, let's get this last pro slope mat down and do a little walk around, maybe a little test run. Here we go, the last screw. And there we have it. The ramp is done, finally. Sorry, I got a bit, a bit excited there. So now I screwed that last bit down. I'm gonna do like a little um, walk around the setup and well, just show you it because obviously it's epic. So right here in front of me, we got the QP, which was in my last video in my garden, but extreme wake have made me this like topper piece for it, which is pretty sick. So you can actually do some stuff on that, which would be cool. Um, I was gonna make this wider, but I actually think it's cool as like a separate little line. You know, like you come down here and then hit that. And to be honest, there's like, I wanna add like a pole jam up there, maybe a kicker into like this being a landing. First of all, I'd like to ride it and, you know, see what speed's like. And then obviously you, you know, then start adding bits to it like I did in the previous videos in the in my garden where we just added and added and added and it just developed and got better. So this is a starting point for now. Big long landing, which is huge. So enough time to run out and stop. Well, even if you run out onto there, it's not a problem. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like the landing area and the quarter pipe. And then this is a legit sized <laughs> down rail, which is sick, which again, Extreme Wake have made for me. Just looks incredible. So that's, yeah, four meter down rail. It's gonna be nice to session. And then two takeoffs either side. I mean, you can tell like it's so much wider, so much more room to play around. And obviously you got the two lines. You could jump off that corner into there, into the core pipe. This looks, yeah, it's insane. And then ah, this little thing, this is if you want to go even quicker. It's actually silicon spray, um, which Pro Slope sent to me just in case on those summer days, it's quite dry. And then built these little steps up here so you can get up. <laughs> Look how wide this dropping is. I mean, you've got this whole platform, you know, to, to play on. Look at that. Like, this is so buzzing. This is actually crazy. I can't even believe I've built this in two weeks. It's mad. But it's going to be such a fun place to just 
come down here i can already imagine like barbecues having a session with loads of friends and just having a good time and playing around on this rail and i mean there's so much space to get you know really creative around this whole setup so there's 40 mats here which is mad <laughs> it's crazy it's actually it's like a it's like a proper little mini halifax i guess buzzing so it's three meters wide 40 mats two different lines for now i mean for now it's probably going to be more lines in the future and then i mean we built this up here a little bit because i wanted to build like a tombstone kind of drop in to get more speed but there's actually tons of speed already so yeah it's pretty sick so yeah so i guess i mean there's not much more to say really other than i should just probably try it out do a little test run see how it feels and uh yeah get ready for monday filming monday it's gonna be pretty sick so proper session max is coming down to film so well looking forward to that and then um, yeah it's finally finished buzzing so let's test it and then yeah see how it is <laughs> oh. <sighs> that is so good like so much better than my last setup so i'm not going to do much more because I'll show that in the next video. This is the build video, but there you go. That's a little teaser. So that's the end of the video. And if you have any trick suggestions for the next video when I'm filming, then please comment them down below. You'll obviously see if I've done any of them in the next video, but stay tuned for more. And yeah, see you in the next one. You.